You've probably had a scary thought that this was coming. Hey guys, Dimension Gamer 2.0 here. So, what happened? Videos just kind of paused after we finished with the Yen Girls on Holocure, and while that was intentional, I was planning on doing a video saying that, hey, videos are going to be going on pause for a couple of weeks. And the reason for that was finishing up with the Yen Girls was a good stopping point with Scaretastic Vidathon coming up. But, I ended up being pretty busy. Every time I think I'm not going to be as busy, I find out that I was wrong and that I was very wrong. So again, my intention was to make a video saying that I was going on pause, I uh, just I didn't get a chance to. Uh, we will be continuing with Hollow Cure after Scaretastic Vidathon ends, as I do still want to focus on getting that game done before I focus on anything else. Scaretastic Vidathon has just been a yearly event and I wanted to make sure that it happened. Now, kind of speaking of Holocure and Scaretastic Vidathon, this actually leads us into the Scaretastic Vidathon 4's first game. That being Evil God Corone. Now, since I've been pretty busy, I haven't had time to make trailer videos, so I'm just going to be putting up pictures as I talk about these games. Uh, but anyway, watch as I walk home in a town that seems to be controlled by Inugami Corone. This game is short and was kind of interesting, and I am I think there might be multiple endings. I just think I discovered that afterwards, so maybe I'll do the game again at some point. You know, just add it to the list of other uh, scaretastic games that I've been wanting to do actual Let's Plays of. And I do hope to get to working on that after uh, Holocure is done. There are a lot of things I want to do once I've got Hollow Cure done. Now, I am afraid that I can't really spend too much time walking through Corone City because my nephew Aiden happens to be coming over and he's been having these like weird thoughts that Freddy Fazbear and his gang have gotten into the house and are trying to get into the room. I don't really know why. This could be, maybe it's because he, you know, he took the horrors, I mean honors, of playing through Five Nights at Freddy's 4 this year. And just like what I've always done, Aiden will have five lives to get through five nights. Can he accomplish this task? Or will some rules be bent for him to get through it? I guess you'll just have to watch to find out. Now, before we continue, I do need to talk about something. Last year, I was supposed to post Corpse Party Book of Shadows in Scaretastic Vidathon 3. But me and Jesse didn't have a chance to finish recording it as one of us was usually busy. So we had to move it to this year. Well, I can tell you we at least got it fully recorded. And while I have started editing it, I'm not, I knew I wasn't going to be able to get it done this year. I knew if I tried, I was going to fail and that I was going to have to cancel Scaretastic Vidathon this year and I didn't want to do it. So it kind of left me in a tight spot. Evil God Corone and Five Nights at Freddy's 4 wasn't enough footage for the month. Not even close. So this is why Scaretastic Vidathon was close to getting canceled. I didn't know what to do. But then an idea came to mind. And I needed a little bit of help with it. Fortunately, Aiden, who lives just down the road from me now that me and Danielle have moved into the house... Aiden came over and he helped me prepare, you know, do a quick preparation for something that we're calling the Scaretastic Vidathons Rescare. This is something I'm actually kind of excited to do. So, Aiden is going to be playing through three past horror games for another scare, starting with our visit to Atlantic Island Amusement Park in the game The Park. Aiden searches around for his missing son, Callum through a creepy amusement park. Can Aiden handle the scares that come before him as he follows a trail of breadcrumbs? Or will the park consume him and will he just, will him and his son just be lost forever? Although I will say, going to Atlantic Island Park isn't cheap, so Aiden's gonna have to kind of refund his bank account. Fortunately, he did get a job to do that. He probably could have picked a better job as he got himself a job at Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. 
thinking it'd be some easy cash, Aiden finds out he's wrong, as he has to go to yet another 5 Live Challenge, as typically done on my channel for 5 Nights at Freddy's. Oh, uh, Freddy and his gang are gonna make Aiden earn his money the hard way. Will Aiden earn his check, or will he run out of pizza, causing him to have to reapply for the job? Not to wait and find out. But, after Aiden put it, puts in his hard night work, he's probably ready to go home. But he ends up kind of venturing out too far and stumbles across an old house in the forest. That's when he learns that this house belongs to a witch. Speech in a scaretastic fan favorite game, honestly, I believe, because, you know, the people that uh, have watched my videos say they really enjoyed Witch's House. Which, yeah, Aiden's playing Witch's House, if I didn't make that clear enough. It's a game that me, Jesse, and Mary all really enjoyed last year, so I decided to bring it back for another year of scary fun. So, this Scaretastic Vitathon is actually going to have five games in it, which is pretty exciting. I'm, the, the idea of doing the Rescare, I really enjoy. And if you guys like it, I'm game for doing it. I'll probably do it a little bit differently uh, next time. This year, it just kind of worked for convenience. But I do like the idea. And especially, you know, if maybe we can start doing some other twists with it. But if you guys have ideas, feel free to let me know. Alright, so real quick, now that I've talked about the games that will be played this year, I want to take a quick look at the schedule. Now, you can see that there are some empty spots. Uh, I did have a few days left over after planning out all the videos. And I decided, instead of leaving those days blank, like I think I've done previously... I'm going to fill them up with just some one-off videos. For example, I might do, and I don't know what I'm doing yet, but I might do like a Dead Rising Infinite Mode challenge. Um, maybe I'll go through, you know, some other quick spooky thing. I don't quite know yet. I'll look around, get some ideas, and I'll go from there. But this is how things kind of look until November comes around. We'll do a video then, you know, close to time on how November's going to look, which will be going back to Hollow Cure. Like I said before, I want to get that done. And yeah, hopefully this is, now that I've, me and Danielle have moved into the house, this is the start of things kind of getting on track and staying on track channel-wise. So, with that, all that being said, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you for Evil God Corona tomorrow. Hope you enjoy.